when you're working in the axle lot, I can, you just got to just kind of generally feel as to what it's like. So there's a couple different things you, you want to do is you want to be able to basically get your hand in between and separate the serratus anterior from the subscap. That is a very common adhesion. She's got it right through here. I just cannot get my thumb any further than that. And if I push harder, it'll just, it'll just hurt. So right now I'm not treating that. I'm treating this tighter stuff up in here, but that's something to always look for. So it's that separation you want. You can kind of try to wiggle your finger in there, but the lasers will loosen this all up. When you're coming up here, you know, the subscap and a whole bunch of different muscles come up and insert into here. Latissimus dorsi and subscap are the two biggies. And so she's just hard right here, and you can see me rolling over that big uh, ropey muscle there. That shouldn't happen. That should all be soft and squishy and uh, just flexible. And what I, when I'm testing these things, I like to have a slight stretch on the muscle. I don't have to have it cranked up, but with a slight stretch on the muscle, you can find the problems. And if you don't have a slight stretch, it's harder to feel the problem. So if she brought her arm down and I felt up here, everything would feel just fine. Even if I brought it down just to 90 degrees instead of way up high like this. Um, and so the slight stretch allows you to evaluate the tissues better. So right now I'm, I'm going for a period. And this has already changed in the few minutes that it's been up there. So I'm just going to now shift this a little bit down there. And that's all you do is just, you just move these around based on the different areas you feel. And when one area um, loosens up, you go to another area. And up here, too, is another spot. So the coracobrachialis um, and the pecs, this can all be tight up here. And even this is part of this up here is deltoid. So that, too, is an area that's real hard on her. And you really just can't cover everything at once with the lasers. If I tried, I'd, I'd, be, I'd, have, them, I'd have to pull them up a little higher to get the lines to be wider. But then the intensity drops, too. So I like just going a little closer, and you can put it right up next to it. There's no harm there either, but then your treatment area gets real small, even though it's really effective. So there's just some nice little in-between where you're getting stuff, and you're getting the coverage, and you're getting the concentration as well. And with this device, with the FX635, this middle laser is, is high enough up where it's really not as effective as it could be. But... So the way it's built, and if this thing could lower down another six inches, it would be even better. But, um, but these two are doing the primary treatment right here. It's not saying the middle laser is ineffective. It's just higher up, and it's covering a larger surface area, but not very well. The other thing to look at here, too, this is a good position to actually evaluate the tricep. So if she wants to even stretch that more, she can bring her head hand down over her forehead, and then you can really feel the stretch there. But even the position she was in is just fine. Okay. And notice the pillow that she has underneath her, too. When you're treating these things, it's, it's very uncomfortable to just be on a flat table. For some people, it's fine. But for a lot of people, they like a little height under their pillow. Mm -hmm. And for the shoulder to rest comfortably is just critical for this. In fact, you got this extra piece of material <laughs> from the corner to put underneath <laughs> your arm. And so it's got to be comfortable because they're going to yeah. be here for, you know, half an hour or an hour or, or even longer. Um, it's depending on how, how long they want to do this. But this position for the shoulder is extremely uncomfortable um, even after 15 or 20 minutes. Um, some people, 15 or 20 minutes, they, they get up and they're like, oh, you know, they're trying to move <laughs> their shoulder back down. It's a very icky feeling. So it's not polite to leave people here too long without giving them a break. They may not actually be too uncomfortable here, but when they bring it down, they will be. So it's nice to give yeah. people a break and then let them feel what it's like anyway so that they realize it's working. Because honestly, with the lasers, the biggest hurdle you got to get over with is the person's got to believe that they're going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and in the beginning, that is really all you're fighting for. You got to show them some type of change so that they realize that these lasers actually work. Mm -hmm. um, it's what I wanted to know before I bought them. It's what everybody wants to know before they spend any money on them. Um, so you got to show them that they're working. But this position is, is important, so she's resting this. She has a little bit of buffer up here. Some people, they wouldn't even be able to get their arm down that low. It's, this, it's like this. I've had some people, their arm, they're struggling just to even get it vertical. And they can even hold on to the, the laser system here to help support it. Um, but you can still get the laser energy in there. Um, and then the other thing, too, that's um, important about this area the critical spot is if they're having numbness and tingling in their arm. Mm. So tingling, numbness, pain shooting down the arm can be from 
uh, entrapments in the neurovascular sleeve right up here. So it's kind of impossible for me to get to it right now to feel how I normally feel it, but it's right under here. If you want a, the person to feel, you just kind of zing it, tap it a little bit. Feel some zinging down your arm a little? A little. Yeah. So obviously it'd be nice that it's like a funny bone sensation, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a real play. And for some people, it's really, really bad. And you just go in there and lightly touching it and it hurts. But that neurovascular sleeve is what's holding on to all the nerves that go down the arm. Mm. And if that gets entrapped up here, which is a common entrapment point, it, it can have the symptoms of tingling and numbness. The other spot that that commonly happens is in the scaling muscles, which we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cover later. They're up here and they're, they're done a, a slightly different way. Person's still on their back and you just have the laser slip. Uh, set up a little differently. So there's a lot to do in the axilla, but um, you just have to start getting used to feeling down here what's normal. And whenever you think, if this, this for people that are learning the lasers that don't really know the, the muscle anatomy down here very well, if ever you question something, whether it's hard or not, or whether it's bone or not, you just laser it. If it's bone, it'll stay hard. <laughs> if it's muscle, it'll soften up and you've learned something. And that's just how you kind of go about learning this stuff. Okay, so come on up, Jen. Okay. It's just been 18 minutes here. She's never had it done before, yeah, in the axilla at least. Now, was that a little uncomfortable coming down? It isn't because I just used my other arm to bring it down. But yeah, okay. So, yeah. But there was a little yeah, bit of weirdness, right? Is, yeah, it okay. definitely feels a little weird. It feels like looser. Like it's just more comfortable. It's higher. To sit. <laughs> Does it feel like it's back a little bit more though? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to do the other side? Yeah. Balance sure, them out? Okay. Because mm -hmm. at least you got some change there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, so, that's yeah, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So lay on your back. Can you bring it over here? And you just come over and evaluate. You care if you touch this? No, I don't care. So, can I just come in here, Mark? Yeah. Very ropey. Mm -hmm. Very ropey, but down here it's hard. Yep. Yeah. See how hard that all is? Yeah. So, you know, if I, if I watch if I bring it down a little bit. Not near as obvious, right? Right. And so, well, okay, with her it still is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but here it's really obvious. And that, that leads to the other thing, yeah. too, with the with the laser. It, how do I say this? When you stretch it out, you are elongating it. And so you're making more surface area to cover but you are then decreasing the thickness of the muscle. It's just the way it works. So when you have the, you know, when you're stretching out like that, the lasers, yes, are, you gotta try to cover more surface area, but they don't have as deep as to have to go through. Mm -hmm. um, so there's less, less thickness to have to treat then. So it's not only good for evaluating, but it's also a good um, just treatment philosophy. If you can stretch it while you're treating it, have it slightly stretched. Now I don't need to stand here and hold this for her, <laughs> nor does she need to take her other arm and try to pull it over. But it does need to rest there. If this was kept on wanting to fall off, she wouldn't like yeah. that at all. In fact, yeah. do you want that under a little bit of padding underneath here again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. So it's okay initially, but then after ten minutes, it's like, okay, I need a change. Yeah, just because it's down a little yes, too far, exactly. right? Yep. So I'm going to put the laser on her the same way, and we just want people to do the camera work at the same time. So, but you saw it on the other side, so that's real simple. 